student that I coached a couple years ago where he made a lot of mistakes. And as I was going through an assessment with him in our initial consultation, I took a big sigh and said, hey buddy, I think that we are gonna have to delay you a year or two maybe to give you a better chance because there is just very little chances that you're gonna get accepted this year. And he was kind of taken aback and kind of almost pissed off and agitated. It's like, why? Like I've been working really hard the last year to get all of my classes in and everything. Why would you recommend this? And it turns out <laughs> that this guy, number one, was trying to apply to a program where one, he did not even meet the minimum GPA requirement. Two, has not taken the GRE yet. Three, has not worked on the essay and is trying to rush everything when the essay takes a long time to refine and make the best possible. And four, he's already kind of past that applying early rolling admission time and his trajectory was pretty much trying to hit right at the deadline. So there were a lot of mistakes here that could have been avoided had he planned a little bit earlier. So in this video, we're going to talk about the five most common mistakes that we can learn. And this is just a student, one example, but I encounter a lot of students who make these mistakes, whether that's all five or some of them. And I'm sure that as you're watching this video, we can help avoid those mistakes too. So let's get into it. Lego. What's up everyone? My name is Dr. Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm the PT admission expert and I help students get accepted into physical therapy school the first time. So here are the five most common mistakes that I see when students are applying to PT school. Number one, students are waiting to apply right before the deadline. Ugh, ugh. I've talked about this so many times. If a school's deadline is, let's say, October 15th, do not wait right before to apply and send everything in. This is gonna be really important because most programs are rolling admissions and the earlier you apply, the better. I've talked about this many, 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 many times. I recommend students apply by August latest to really have their best chance to take advantage of that rolling admission part, all right? We're gonna go through numbers two through five here in a little bit, but make sure you wait till you, you hear about number four and five, because these things you can definitely control right now. And if you don't take advantage of that control right now, then later on when you are ready to apply, your hands are in a cuff and you have no control over what to do. So please watch this video and hear number four and five for that information. Okay, number two, you did not meet the minimum requirements. So you have your list of top programs, but you haven't really checked out the requirements. What's the minimum GPA, both overall prerequisite or science GPA? What's the minimum GRE? What is the minimum letters of recommendation? What is the minimum observation hours and for which setting, clinical setting? See, these minimum requirements are there on purpose and there are a lot of students who apply and they are not qualified because they do not hit these minimum level standards. So please double check your top list and make sure you're hitting these minimum standards. Okay, number three is that you are not meeting the prerequisite level course. Meaning, if you have a biochem or physics, these are generally the most common mistake classes. There are two level courses. There is the fundamental class, which is what's mostly offered to fulfill the general education requirement. And then there is the high science class, right? And these are the classes that are offered by the department. So biology, instead of taking fundamental biology or just intro to biology, you should be taking general biology that is given by the biology department. Same thing with chemistry and physics. Most programs will have two level classes. Let's say you're a communication major. There is no reason that you should be taking this high level biology course. 
You just need a regular biology course just to fulfill that science uh, general education, right? But that communication student is not trying to get into PT school. So this makes most sense for that person. But for you who's trying to get into PT school, you need this higher level course. I had so many students who show me their prerequisites and their application, <clears throat> and they show me the classes that they're taking. And unfortunately, the biology, chemistry, and physics class is not at the level that it should be. So that is a no-go, and that means they have to wait several years to take the appropriate class. Now, in addition to this, if you are a quarter or a semester system, you better make sure your credits match up too. Most programs will do a semester-based system or a full year, right? A full year of semester-based credit is eight credits. A full year of quarter-based credits is 12 credits. So make sure you have that conversion if you're going from quarter to semester so you're fulfilling that prerequisite requirement. Number four. Number four and five are the things that I told you that you should have control over now. Number four is making the mistake of asking for a letter of recommendation too late. Oh, this frustrates me so much when I'm working with students and they're getting ready to apply. They're like, okay, I got my essay done. I got all the stuff in. Great. I'm ready to apply. And I asked them, how about your letter of recommendation? Oh, I didn't ask yet. Okay. Well, if you ask them, do you think they're going to be done in a week? No, your physical therapist or your professor has so many other things to do. You have to give them ample time to write your letter of recommendation. I recommend two months in advance. So pretty much as soon as PTCAS opens, ask your professor, your physical therapist, whoever you need to for that letter of recommendation. The last thing that you want is to be ready to apply and now you're waiting for your letter of recommendation that you have absolutely no control over. And something where you should have applied, you would have applied by August, now you are waiting till September or October to submit a completed application. I would hate myself and I'd be so frustrated if that was me in that situation. So please let's avoid this common mistake and ask for your letter of recommendation early. Okay, number five is going to be taking the GRE at the same time that you are applying to PT school. Oh man. When you're watching, if you're watching this video, chances are it's probably not during the application process. Chances are it's probably application has passed or you're preparing to apply. You can take the GRE anytime. Take it now. Do not take the GRE at the same time that you are applying. There are so many more other things that you should be focused on, like writing a really, really good essay, putting all of your energy on finishing up your prerequisite classes or submitting your application. Those are the things that you should be focused on, not the GRE. You can totally take this years in advance but I don't know why students procrastinate this. Please take the GRE. What I recommend is in the spring or the summer, right before PTCAS opens in June. So take it anywhere from January, February, March, April, or May, and then get your results. And then when applications open up in June, you can get those results and submit it with your application. This is also important because let's just say you don't get the score that you want. And there's always time to retake that GRE. <sighs> These are the top five most common mistakes. I'm curious which one resonated with you? Which one did you not know of? I'd love to hear in the comments below. Now, when you are ready to apply to PT school, what I'd recommend is to join my online group coaching program, PT Application Bootcamp. In this group coaching program, I'm gonna teach you all the secrets of the application. I'm gonna teach you these things to avoid and things to capitalize on so that you can have your best application ever so that you can have the highest chances to get accepted to PT school. 
The students that are in this program got into multiple PT programs and I'm confident that I can help you out too. I've done this for many years and I'm coaching students through this process because there is not a resource out there that helps students do this. So if you're looking to give yourself the best shot to get into PT school, especially your top choice, which is hopefully a public school education where their tuition is less. I talked about this before in one of my other videos. Those are the most competitive programs. So you need to have your best shot possible. I'm the PT admission expert. I can help you. Feel free to comment any questions that you have below. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one, you guys.